Cassie here. So when it comes to working out, my favorite area to work is my upper body and especially my shoulders. Why? Well, to be completely honest, it is the first place on my body where I start actually seeing physical progress, which is super exciting. I know we always talk about inner strength and knowing that you're getting better, you're improving a skill, and that is Number one, the most important thing. You should be able to get stronger. You should be able to not care about the vanity of your workouts because you love your workouts so much. But with that said, when you do see physical progress as a side benefit, it's incredibly exciting. And so today I wanted to show you some of my favorite exercises that are isolated for the shoulders. Now these are all gonna be at home weightless arm and shoulder workouts. So you don't need any equipment, just you and your yoga mat or you and your carpet, and it's gonna be great. Now I've got five moves for you. Each move is gonna be done for a minute and 30 seconds, and there's gonna be zero breaks in between. So we're gonna fatigue your muscles. It's gonna be great, and I know you're gonna love it. All right, you guys, so the entire workout's going to be seven minutes and 30 seconds. And before we start the timer, let me show you what the first one is. The first one is called the Tipping Mermaid. Both hands and fingertips are gonna be facing forward, just like so. You're gonna extend the leg, okay? Check this out. You're gonna come down, see how that leg comes up, and place it back down. So it's like a side push-up, but we're also kind of like a mermaid. So that is why it's called the Tipping Mermaid. You guys ready? Time to kill that shoulder. Here we go. The timer has started. Now, you're coming down and up. So modification, obviously, you don't need to come as low. You can also bend your leg if you feel like your flexibility isn't quite there yet, and that is totally okay. So we're inhaling down, we're exhaling up. If you also feel like your, um, your booty or your hips are feeling kind of sensitive right here where the weight is, then go ahead and double up your mat. You can also place a pillow or a towel there for a little bit of extra cushion. Alrighty, boom. Now, after I do some really good shoulder exercises, honestly, I feel like I see that I am all pumped up right afterwards. You know, our bodies are all so different. It's really weird because as much as I do my abs, work my abs, um, as much as I do Pilates, my body is weird. I'm not really a six pack type of person. So my arms, when I do see the results, it is really, really exciting. Whereas some other people, they can eat hamburgers and fries and pizza all day and they can have a six pack the next day. That's not me, but that's okay because that's not really my goal. Um, my goal is to get stronger and to know that I'm becoming better every single day. All right, you got 10 seconds left. So also really great for that booty work. I'm feeling that. Come on, we're down and up. One more. Okay, so immediately we switch over onto woo, the other side. So remember, both hands are forward and here we go. We're pressing and lifting, pressing and lifting. Just like that. Also, this is such a great shoulder stretch right now. Really liking that. The more you point your toes, the more you're gonna feel your legs as well, okay? Now, with my isolation, I was about to say exhalation, um, with my isolation exercises, we're putting the emphasis on the muscle that we wanna work, which is our shoulders. But of course, you can be working other parts of your body. Clearly, we're working our legs, our core, our chest a little bit in this as well. But the emphasis goes into that shoulder and I want you to put your energy in there. Put all the energy you need in that shoulder to keep going, to keep it strong. It's kind of like when you're running, well, I was told that if you're finding running to be kind of hard, put all of your energy like into your core and um, into your chest, kind of like puff your chest and like run forward. And when I did that, it took the weight out of my legs. Instead of, you know, feeling like heavy cinder blocks, I just felt like I was kind of, I was like a floating chest. I don't know, the mind is weird. You can really change a lot when you change your perception. All right, our next move is robot arms. So I want you to go ahead and sit tall, bring the arms here, and we're gonna come down and up, and lower and lift, just like that. 
Okay, so it is really important to keep the elbows at 90 degrees. I want them shoulder height. I do not want you to bring it any lower than shoulder height. My palms are nice and flat and open, okay? Keep it that way. This is really working the shoulders, both of them this time. So last time you got lucky and we're just doing one. Now we got everything, okay? Belly in, you're sitting tall, your neck is long, the shoulders are ears. You're doing so well. Come on, keep going, up and down, up and down. Good stuff, you guys. Keep pulsing. You know, it is summer right now, and I'm just so excited because it is my favorite season. It is, out of all of them. I like being warm. I do not like being cold, but even in the summer, I can still have blankets all over me. I don't know what's going on with me. Maybe I'm like cold-blooded or something, but I am always cold. Whoever invented the car seat warmer, thank you, because I'm all about the car seat warmer. So good. Sometimes when you have the heater on, it kind of suffocates your face, but the seat warmer it doesn't suffocate my butt. Feels good. All right, next one, elbow pulses. So your hands are here, elbows up, 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 and lift, lift, lift. Da, 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 just like that. Keep going. Okay, now the shoulders are fatiguing for reals. Let's go ahead and bring it higher, higher, higher. Pulse, do not give up. These are fast, all right? Elbows lifting, lifting, lifting. Your hands, just let them relax, okay? Bring the elbows up. Make them work for you. You've got this, come on. Lift, lift. Now you don't need to put your body into this. Just let the elbows lift it up. Remember what I said at the beginning. If you're feeling like this is so hard and you just don't even know what to do with your mind. Okay, take all the energy and put it into your elbows. Let the elbows lift, lift. Give them some life. Up, up, come on. Lift, higher, higher. You have 33 seconds left, come on. You've got this. Now let me tell you, just because I'm smiling, it doesn't mean I'm not suffering. I'm just really good. Why? I gotta make it look easier for you, right? So that you can keep going, okay? So you can grimace, you can moan, or do whatever you need to, but I'm gonna be here for you. I'm gonna be here smiling for you, okay? Let's keep going. Up, up. I'm dying inside. Lift, lift, lift. Okay, curly arms. This is so fun, so check it out. You're gonna sweep it in and push it out. In and out, like that. Oh my gosh, this is such a good finale move. And it is using a lot of me right now. Woo! I also feel like this is a dance move. I can go this, but that is taking too much energy right now. So I'm just gonna stay still. Oh my goodness. You guys, I think this is the worst one. Not just because it's the last one, but actually I think it is the worst one. Oh, curly arms, my goodness. Now this one has a funny story because um, when I was writing this workout, um, I was kind of stuck on the last move and Sam made this really weird sound. He was like, you should make something called the wee wah arms. And I was like, what is a wee wah arm? Is it like this? And then I was like, wait a minute, that actually hurts my shoulders. And they were like, well, we can't call it wee wah arms because that's weird. What is a wee wah? And so we went over a bunch of different things. We we're like number nine arms, snail arms, wavy arms. Then we settled on curly arms. So here you go, guys. That is how curly arms came to be. But it can be our little secret that at one point they were called wee wah arms. Okay, keep going. Almost there. 11 seconds, push through. Shoulders are gonna feel pumped after this. Almost there. Breathe. One more. Oh. oh my gosh. Feeling the shoulders. Woo! They feel good. How do they look? Do they look good? Yes, you guys. I am feeling pumped up. My shoulders are feeling pumped up. And I'm so, so, so excited that we just finish that shoulder exercise isolation workout together. That was really fun. And all just using your own body weight. So guys, give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. And let me know in the comments below what muscle group we should isolate next time. Or if you have fun video ideas, I am just really excited to 
do new things, try new things. And um, you know what? If you have ideas, put them there and let's make it happen. All right, guys, I'll see you next time and I love you so much. Bye.